Welcome to this Giftworks video. In this video, I want to show you how you can import membership information into Giftworks. Membership tracking was first introduced into Giftworks with the release of Giftworks 2014, and it allowed you to track all your membership programs and your membership levels, your membership benefits, your membership dues, and so on. But what you couldn't do is import information or import old historical membership information into Giftworks. That made it difficult for some of you to get started using membership, the membership capabilities in Giftworks because you couldn't have all your information, historical or even current information, brought into Giftworks and you were forced to do a lot of manual work related to setting up your memberships. Well, with Giftworks 2015, we've improved the membership capability by allowing you to import membership information into Giftworks to get started uh, quicker and easier. So let's take a look at what you can do. And first, I'd like to start off by showing you just a, kind of as a reminder, as a refresher, a little bit about the membership tracking in Giftworks. To do that, let's first look at Jonathan. I'm going to double click on Jonathan here, and I'm going to go to his memberships tab. And you'll see that I have a museum membership set up for Jonathan. His dues are $50. He hasn't paid anything yet. Uh, this is an active membership, and it starts on 9-1-2014 and expires in August of 2015. Uh, so that's a basic, very uh, pretty traditional, pretty standard membership uh, for Jonathan. Look, we, I have some other donors here who don't have any memberships yet. So we'll go to Sue and see under membership. She has no memberships here. And the same is going to be for Bill Smith. Let's look at him, and he has no memberships either. So, But I do have an Excel spreadsheet that contains information about uh, their memberships. And so I'd like to, I'm going to show that to you real quickly. Now here's my spreadsheet, and my spreadsheet's fairly simple. It's, it's an Excel spreadsheet. It contains a number of columns that uh, describe or talk or contain information about my memberships, and I have just four rows, and these rows contain the information that's going to be imported into Giftworks. Let me just run through each of these columns fairly quickly. Now first, the first and last name is going to be used to determine whether or not this membership information should be added to an existing donor inside of Giftworks. So if Giftworks finds a donor with the same first and last name, it'll use that to determine whether or not it should add the membership to the existing donor or to add a new donor. The next one, dues paid date and dues paid amount, this represents a donation that's going to be made or that was made to pay for this membership. Now we know some of you do not use your donations as membership payments. Uh, well, Giftworks can, the, the membership tracking inside of Giftworks can accommodate that, but for the purpose of this video, I am going to assume that these donations are being used to pay for the membership dues. This it, It'll actually be used in conjunction with this next column, which this next column titled Apply to Membership will instruct Giftworks to use this donation as payment for this membership. The membership, me uh, the program and level, in this case, membership, uh, the museum member and a family level, um, I'm going to be mapping this information, or Giftworks will help me map this information to information that's already set up within Giftworks. So make sure before you do your import, you go into Giftworks and you set up your membership programs and your membership levels and your membership statuses so that as you're going through the import process, you're going to be able to match or map the information that you're importing to existing programs and levels and statuses that are already set up within Giftworks. Membership start date and expire date. Um, that's just certainly when the membership starts and ends. The membership dues, that is how much the membership costs. The membership type, and the different membership types that you can have are a new membership, a renewal membership, an upgrade, or a downgrade. Those are the different membership types. And then the membership status, whether it's active or an inactive membership or a pending membership. A pending membership is simply used to sort of set up the next membership. So it will be the one that would, that would go active after the current membership was complete or expired. So in this case, we saw Jonathan a little bit earlier. He had an existing membership that took him up to 831 of 2015. This pending membership is going to be used as the subsequent membership to his current one. And so this one would start on 9-1-2015 and end on 831-2016. So we're going to in import all this information into Giftworks. But keep in mind, each of these are slightly different. You'll notice that Bill Smith does not have a donation associated with this membership, so there will not be any dues being paid toward this. Jonathan Lehman doesn't have any as well. Mary is actually um, a renewal, uh, but she's going to be an active uh, membership. So there's a number of different uh, factors here, or a number of different variables here that'll change sort of the ways the memberships that are being made. 
or the, the way the memberships are made. And we're going to go through this process inside of Giftworks in just a moment and show you how it all comes together. So let's close our Excel spreadsheet. And we'll be back in Giftworks and we're going to get started importing this information into Giftworks. To get started, we'll go down to the settings area and we're going to start a normal import process using the import tools within Giftworks, which can be found under Importing, Exporting, and Data Management, Import Data, and then Import a File. Now I'm going to go ahead and find the Excel file that I, we were just looking at. Mine is called Membership Import, and I'm going to click on Next. When I click Next, I'm going to preview the information just to verify it's the same file that we were just looking at, which it is. And I'm going to click Next. And now I have some options. If I scroll to the bottom, I'm going to see two related to the memberships. The first one is existing memberships, and the second one is associate donations with a membership. I'm not going to go into these in depth, but you can find out more by clicking the Learn More link, which will give you access to information that will help you through these options. But this first one, let's talk about existing memberships. As it says, if you're importing an active or pending membership and the donor has a membership with a matching status, how should Giftworks import this membership? This is going to be especially important for those of you who are going to be importing uh, membership information on a regular basis or going to be importing your memberships. Uh, perhaps it's going to take you two or three imports uh, to import all your information in. This is asking the question, well, if a donor already has an active or a pending membership, what should you do if you're importing another one for that donor? And it gives you three clear options, and they're fairly self-explanatory. The first one is, well, don't import the membership. If there's already one there and it's either active or pending, disregard the one that you're trying to import. The second option is to deactivate the existing matching membership and import the new one. So whatever's already there, kind of move it aside, add it to the, sort of the list of historical memberships, and just import the new one in. Or the last option is update the existing one. Uh, with the inf information that you're importing. So you can leave the one there that's already there, and you can use the information that you're importing to update the one that's already there. So depending on what you're trying to accomplish, you're going to want to make sure you, you choose the option that's most appropriate for how you'd really want to handle when you're importing memberships that already exist inside of Giftworks. Now the next option is associate donations uh, with a membership. This is trying to help you understand or try to help you control what Giftworks should do when donations are being imported and they're being imported to a donor that has existing memberships. So the three options here are always associate the donations where needed or with the membership that has an outstanding amount. So Giftworks is trying to say, well, what should I do with these donations? And uh, the other options are always associate the donations with the active membership or always associate the donations with the pending membership. So when you're importing donations, and you have active or pending memberships, how should Giftworks assign the donations that are being imported? And so it will control these options, control whether it's to the active membership first and, or, and then the pending one, or just the active or just the pending one. So uh, that's, that's an especially important option if you're importing donations that, uh, that can be used to pay membership dues. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Next once I've chosen my options. And I'm going to go through the mapping process where I'll map the information that I'm importing to the information in Giftworks. And so I'm going to go through the real simple ones first, the first and last name for my donor, and then my donation. So the donation one date and the donation one amount. And then if you remember earlier, I referenced this apply to memberships field or column in the Excel spreadsheet. Under donations, under my donation one, I have this option that says add to outstanding membership and it's going to look at this value and see a yes and so it's going to, like I said earlier it will instruct Giftworks to use this donation to pay for a membership or to apply, be applied to the membership dues. The next one membership program and level. I'm going to click here and go to membership and click on membership program level. Giftworks is now going to ask me to map the information that's in my Excel file with the program and level that's already configured in Giftworks. So I'm going to choose, this one's a family membership, the museum membership family, and this one, museum member individual, I'm going to map to my individual. So it's mapping what's in your Excel file with what's already set up inside of Giftworks. And when I'm set, I'm going to click on Done. I'm going to go and do the membership start date, the membership expiration date, the membership dues, total dues, the membership type, and the membership status. 
Status is the other uh, field within your memberships that's going to prompt you to map what you're importing to what's set up inside of Giftworks. So I'm going to map my active to my active, my inactive to my inactive, and my pending to my pending. Once again, it just maps your what's in your Excel file to what's already set up inside of Giftworks. And when I'm all set, I can click on Done. Now I've mapped all my fields and I'm ready to continue with my import. I can click on Next. Make sure there's no errors or warnings related to my mapping. And when I click Next, I'm going to be able to do a test of my membership import. Click on Test Import. It's going to go through and it's going to show me that no errors or warnings were found. Now I'm going to, and I can actually see in the list, I can see what's going to be imported. So I see a $100 donation for Sue. I see her membership being imported and Sue uh, sort of being updated or um, being imported into Giftworks. Now Sue already exists, so Giftworks isn't going to add another Sue. It's just going to add to what's already there. Now the same for Bill with his membership. Bill has no donation, if you remember. And then Mary, we're going to add her, add her membership and add her donation. And then Jonathan, we're going to be adding uh, just a membership, a pending membership. So when I'm all set, after reviewing that, I can click on Next, and I'm going to actually complete the import. This will actually bring the information into Giftworks now. And once it's all set, no errors or warnings were found. I see the summary at the bottom, and I'm ready to click Done. And now we can take a moment to review what's been imported through this, through this membership import process. So let's head over to the Donor Dashboard, and we'll take a look at each one. You'll see that I have four donors here, Sue and Bill, uh, who are already there but had no membership information inside of Giftworks. We'll see Jonathan, uh, who had a membership and we expect to perhaps find another one. And Mary, who did, wasn't in Giftworks before but now she is as a result of the import process that we went through. And we'll expect to find a membership for her as well. But let's start with Sue. I'm going to double click on Sue. And I'm going to head down to her membership tab. Under Membership tab, I'm going to see that she has a new membership. It's the museum membership. It's a family level membership. The dues that were required were $100 and the dues that got paid were $100. We'll see that her status is active. Her start and expire date are set and the type of membership, it was a new membership. And all that information matches what we had in our spreadsheet, which I'll show you again. So if you remember Sue, we had all this information, $100 donation on 815 that was going to be applied to the membership, the program and level, the start and expire dates, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go back to Giftworks and we'll check out a little bit more because one of the things important, if you remember, was these dues paid. Remember, we had a $100 donation on 815 that was going to be used to pay the dues. Let's go over to Sue's Donations tab and we'll take a look under Donation Details at her gift on 815. You see, it is for $100, which is great. I'm going to view this gift. And we can see her donation information, but one of the most important things here, as it relates to the membership, it will be found under Related Items. Under Related Items, you're going to see under Donation Associations that this donation is a payment for the following membership. And it lists that it's the museum membership, the family level, um, and that started on 10-1. So this donation was not only imported, but it was associated with this membership, and it, it was used to pay her dues. If we go back to uh, Sue's information, under Memberships, you'll see at the summary at the top, her total dues were $100 and the total dues paid were $100 so that her outstanding amount is now zero. So we see that her the, the donation that was imported was properly associated with the membership so that her dues could be credited appropriately. Let's go back to our donor dashboard and we'll take a look at the next one, who was Bill. Now if you remember Bill, let's go look at our spreadsheet again. Bill didn't have a donation. Um, and he had an individual membership, started on 9 1 of 2013, expired on 8 31 of 2014, but it was an inactive membership. This is a good example of importing perhaps historical membership information. So, this is a membership that's already done with, but we want to make sure we import it so we can see a good history inside of Giftworks. So, let's go to his membership tab, and we're going to see under inactive memberships, we're going to see this museum membership, individual, $50, no dues paid. Um, it, it's an inactive membership. It started on 9-1 and ended on 8-31. That's a good example of how to import historical information. Let's go back to our donor dashboard. We'll see Jonathan Lehman, if you remember. Let's go back to our Excel spreadsheet. Jonathan Lehman here. We were importing an, an upcoming or a pending membership. So Jonathan had an existing membership that went through 8-31 of 2015, and this pending one is going to take over once his current one expires. So let's go take a look and see if that imported as well. Let's go to Jonathan. And we'll go over to his memberships. 
we'll see that he has an active one that takes him through 831, and we see now that his pending membership was imported, that he has a $50 dues, he, doesn't, he hasn't paid anything toward it yet, and, and that it was a renewal. Back on the spreadsheet, you remember this was a renewal membership. And so we see that properly imported as well. Let's go back to our donor dashboard. We'll take a look at Mary Williams. Now, Mary Williams was not in Giftworks before, so we do see that she's been added. If I go under Memberships, and let me go back to my spreadsheet, we'll see under Mary Williams, we see that she had a, a $50 donation on 9-1 toward her membership, that it was a renewal, and that the status should be active. So if we go back to Giftworks, we should see that is an active membership. See that here. See that it is a properly set up individual membership, $50, $50 dues paid. Just like Sue before, she also paid $50 toward her dues, and it's been properly um, uh, entered in for this membership. And we'll check that out in just a second, the start and end date or expiration date, and then the type was a renewal. If I go over to her donations, I'll also see that, that her $50 gift was, oops, let me go back to this one. She had two $50 gifts. Her $50 gift was properly associated with her museum membership on 9-1-2014. So you can see how easy it was to create an Excel spreadsheet full of information about our donors and their memberships, and we were able to import those memberships into Giftworks, whether they be historical memberships or new memberships, and we were even able to apply payments or receive donations toward the membership dues for those memberships. So we hope this, this new capability of importing memberships is going to help you and your organization, especially for those of you who are tracking memberships, a lot of memberships for your organization. And we hope this, as part of all the work that you do, helps you accomplish your mission. Thanks for watching.